YouTube, Mark here with kind of a post Xbox and also post EA uh, conference video here. Um, wow. I have some notes that I wrote down and uh, actually I didn't take any notes for the EA conference because I don't really care about sports games too much. And I everyone knew that they're going to show off Star Wars Battlefront 2. That game looks unbelievable. The storyline, I think, is kind of unique. But, again, we kind of knew about that before from the trailers that they had shown off. But that multiplayer match was awesome. Visually awesome. Now, I will say, I'm kind of disappointed that Jango Fett wasn't shown off as opposed to Boba Fett. Because, I mean, the time arrows were different. But then all of a sudden, you know, they were bringing in Han Solo, which didn't make sense for... You know, episodes 1, 2, and 3, but whatever. That's fine. They're mixing it up. I think EA has, like, out of nowhere became the awesome, you know, developers out there. I'm speechless, quite honestly. Now, I don't, honestly, I'll also, I don't care two shits about their sports games, but whatever. I just finished watching the Xbox conference, and... First and foremost, I was right. In my podcast uh, with Greg the other day, I made a prediction that they would announce OG Xbox backwards compatibility. And I happened to announce it with one of the best games ever. That is, that, that makes me extremely happy. So awesome. So, anyways, um, here's some games that stood out to me that actually I'm quite excited for. The Last Night looks awesome. It, it's, it's, it visually looks incredible. I can't wait to just see it. Sea of Thieves by Rare. Um, I knew that game was coming. I pretty much knew that they were going to show it off. And... They have me. The visuals, fantastic style in the way that Rare does it. And the gameplay, and I guess to a degree, maybe like how the story could unfold. I mean, obviously, you make your own story, but uh, looks awesome. Uh, Forza 7. This is a big one. Gran Turismo Sport is dead. In fact, in my opinion, with Project Cars 2 coming out, and now Forza 7 coming out, Sony needs to delay Gran Turismo Sport. It, it's so far behind visually. I know a lot of the hardcore Sims people out there, they don't care about graphics, whatever. You know what? The majority of gamers that will be playing these games do. So, ignore that, and seriously... Sony needs to make it very pretty. And yes, the HDR lighting and everything does look good, but the lack of weather effects and the you know changing of the times of day, various things like that, hurts. Plus the fact that, uh, I don't know, Forza 7 looks really, really good. I'm so impressed. Assassin's Creed Origins. We kind of knew that was coming through the leaks, although I... I kind of don't think that they're leaks, you know. The game looks fantastic. And I think the amount of time that they have, you know, that they took off for the franchise actually is a very good thing. Cuphead. We finally have a release date. Crackdown 3. Um, I never really played much of the original or the sequel. So I'm not like anticipating this one that much however it looks really fun um everything that you can do in it looks really good and makes me want to actually go pick up the other ones and try them out the the sequel to ori and the blind forest looks fantastic unfortunately i have not played ori and the blind forest yet because i i i don't really play much xbox games but now it's almost like I'm going to have to because they've got some really good stuff, which which brings me to a, a point. 
one of the things that Greg and I had said in the podcast was, I mean, with the hardware that the Scorpio, or now Xbox One X, has, they could easily, you know, win. But you got to have games. And now they have some. Anthem. Now, it is a multi-plat, but, uh, and by EA no less. Holy shit, this game looks amazing. I swear to God, it looks better visually than Horizon Zero Dawn. And where did EA come from? I mean, I know this was made by BioWare, but still an EA company. And running on Frostbite, no less. That engine, they... Ooh, man. They made that engine to work for everything. I mean, look at Need for Speed. You know, it was shown off during the EA conference and also the preview, you know, before that. God. <laughs> I think EA is going to be using Frostbite, essentially, for all their games from now on, and I think it's fantastic. Um, visually, everything looks really, really good. There is one thing from the show that stood out to me in a negative way, and that's the price. $499 is ridiculous. That's a tough one to swallow. And the fact that they're going to have the Xbox One S on the market at the same time for $250, bucks, all the games are going to work on it. Sure, you're not getting 4K out of it, but you're going to be able to play them. Come Christmas time, a parent that may not know better isn't going to care. It's going to be like, that one's 250 bucks. This one's 500 I can get two of those for that price. I don't know where Microsoft's thinking with the price there. However, I do know that the components and everything, it ain't cheap. Man, I tell you. I'm, I'm quite surprised. <laughs> I'm more surprised at EA though. They, they they're showing so far unbelievable. And I, I have to say that right now I am the most excited for Anthem. And I know it's an online game similar to what Destiny was probably supposed to be. And I kind of didn't really get into Destiny too much. But this looks so good. Oh my god. So awesome. That's a that's a day one purchase for me, I think. Good job, EA. And good job, Xbox, for bringing in the original. Oh, one last thing, too. I was reading comments on uh, some videos there, and... Uh, there was there was a comment that pointed this out that uh, you know Xbox One X if you abbreviate it X B O X that's kind of cool anyway I will uh, talk to you guys later have fun during this awesome week goodbye. Okay,